Glass Onion, the sequel to Ryan Johnson's surprise hit film of 2019, Knives Out, was finally released on Netflix last Friday, and it turned out to be a really great addition to the franchise. It is the second case that we got to see so far of Detective Benoit Blanc, played by Daniel Craig. The film turned out to be equally entertaining as its predecessor. The charm of the movie is its screenplay and editing which totally believes in the philosophy of Showdown 10. The film demands a close and careful viewing from the audience so that you can identify every little bits and pieces of details incorporated in the movie. But we are here to help you out with your viewing experience so that when you revisit the film, you can enjoy all the little details and nuances that the makers have incorporated into the screenplay. So this is our attempt to break down the film completely and extract the 7 hidden details that you might have missed in Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. But before that, here is a massive spoiler warning for those who haven't seen the movie yet. And if you are done watching the film, let's dive into the video. As the film portrays the year 2020, all the characters come to the ferry wearing masks. The masks worn by every individual play an important role in the film. It speaks volumes about their characters and personalities. At first, we see Lionel, who is a scientist by profession and he properly wears an N95 mask. Blanc wears a basic mask that goes with his slick fashion sense. Claire, a politician, is shown wearing a mask that is constantly hanging under her nose and she is constantly fixing it, which shows that she is always conscious of her appearance. Bird is shown wearing a mesh mask and starts hugging everyone around her. She doesn't give a damn about the pandemic like some influencers on social media who lack empathy and basic common sense. Also, this is a direct nod to Lana Del Rey who wore a similar mask in a music video back in 2020. The couple Duke and Whiskey doesn't even bother wearing one which shows their reckless and fun-loving characteristics. The sequence where Miles explains to Blanc that who is a disruptor according to him is just a foreshadowing of the climax. He says that in order to shake something up, you need to break something small like a norm or an idea. We see Helen listening to his remarks and when she starts breaking every glass statue of Miles, she starts with the smaller ones, then she moves on to the bigger pieces like the Liberace piano. In the end, she moves on to the Mona Lisa doing the same gesture Miles has shown Blanc to signify crossing a line. The ending was foreshadowed way before when we see Helen breaking Miles' secret box rather than playing his game like everyone else. The names of the twin sister hold a lot of significance in the movie, and his actual name is Cassandra, who in Greek mythology has the power of prophecy, but she was cursed never to be believed. We see this play out in the movie as she warns Miles that his substitute hydrogen-based energy fuel is highly combustible, which comes true in the finale of the movie. Like her Greek counterpart, no one at the court believed her argument that she was the one behind the creation of the company Alpha. Also, Cassandra prophesies that the arrival of Helen in Troy would be the reason for the city's destruction, which eventually happens in the movie when her sister Helen enters Miles Island, camouflaged as her dead sister, similar to a Trojan horse. Benoit acts as Achilles in this movie as he is defeated for not having hard evidence against Miles but helps Helen take her revenge. We hear him mention his inability to perform small detective tasks, he compares it to his Achilles heel. Also, Cassandra in Greek mythology had a twin sister called Helenus. The Greek symbols are a recurring motif in the film. We see the Omega symbol on Miles' boat and the dressing gowns. His company is also called Alpha. These symbols occur in the Book of Revelations, so it seems Miles sees himself as some kind of a modern day god by using these symbols. These symbols are also the first and last letter of the Greek alphabet, which shows how Miles' downfall in the end was inevitable. We have also seen a picture of Herberus the snake eating its tail in Andy's room, which suggests how Miles' greed ate up his success. We see Detective Blanc wearing an Omega wristwatch too, which is a direct nod to his other popular character James Bond. The world's greatest detective is introduced in this movie, playing Among Us in his bathtub. The people playing with him are some of the most popular celebrities from their respective fields, like Natasha Lyonne, who will play an important character in Johnson's upcoming film Poker Face. We can see Karim Abdul Jabbar, who co wrote the book of Mycroft Holmes. There is also the legend late Stephen Sodenheim and late Angela Lansbury, who have prominent roots in the whodunit genre, and this film turns out to be their last on screen appearance. The game Among Us foreshadows that Blank will enter Miles' house as an imposter 
but unlike the actual imposter in the game, he will try to stop a possible murder. Glass Onion has a lot of both on-screen and off-screen cameos that are really hard to keep track of. The first cameo on screen is of the celebrity cellist Yo-Yo Ma who helps Birdie solve the mystery box sent by Miles. Followed by that, we see the four celebrity cameos in Among Us. Then we see Ethan Hawke who plays the character of Miles' assistant who gives his guest what appears to be the instant cure for Covid. We also see Hugh Grant playing the character of Blanc's roommate. The fans of the franchise are theorizing that he is a love interest of Blanc. Then later in the movie, we see Serena Williams assisting Miles' guest with health tips. And the hourly dong has been recorded by none other than Joseph Gordon-Levitt. There are also certain name drops including Jeremy Renner, Jared Leto and Gillian Flynn, the writer of Gone Girl, who designed the murder mystery game for Miles. And the name of 2001 A Space Odyssey's lesser known sequel 2010 has been dropped in the movie too. Full of stars. 2010, here we make contact. It's Director Ryan Johnson used a lot of paintings in order to tell a better story. Among all, we get to see the frigging Mona Lisa. But his use of Matisse's Icarus is what makes the storytelling even more interesting. The figure in the painting describes the mythological character Icarus falling down from the sky with a red dot on his chest which depicts his bleeding heart. His downfall is similar to Miles's as he loses everything when his ambitions start to fly above his head. Instead of flying too close to the sun, which results in Icarus's wings melting down, Miles' home blasts into flames with a glass onion on top of his home looking like the sun for his wrongdoing. And his sister stands close to the painting throughout the movie and near the end, she gets the same exact spot on her dress similar to Icarus's bleeding heart, which foreshadows that she will be responsible for taking down Miles. So these are all of the hidden details that we have found in the movie. If you have managed to spot any other details, do let us know in the comment section. You can also check our ending explanation video of Glass Onion. Just press the i button. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Glass Onion and Eyes Out Mystery. Or what are the details that we might have missed in the movie. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema series. See you at the next one and for the time being we are signing off. Until your sauce, it's a dangerous thing to mistake speaking without thought for speaking the truth and I'll be back.